Hello everyone. Welcome to Tim Press tutorial videos for Learn Press. In this video, I will guide you step by step on how to use Learn Press on your education website. With Learn Press, you can create and sell courses online on your site. As you can see here are the list of online courses created by Learn Press displayed with their Duma theme. The courses can include lessons and quizzes. You can add video or audio file or slide and text to your lessons like this. To use LearnPress, of course, you need to download and activate the plugin on your website. You can download LearnPress from WordPress. LearnPress can be used with any theme. In this video, I used Eduma with my website. After successfully activating to create the courses, go to your dashboard. Learn Press Courses Choose the course you want to edit or add a new one. At the first box, you can add the title of your courses. The big white box is your course description. You can add information about your courses here such as Name of the course Course purposes Lengths Tutor in the course Course outline Then, scroll down to Curriculum to create courses content. The course will be divided into sections. You can add section by typing the name here. I will create Chapter 1. Then, press Enter. Now, a section will be appeared for you to add lesson and quiz to your course. There are two ways to add. Firstly, you can type the title of the lesson and press Enter to create the lesson. Or you can choose the quiz icon and add title, then press Enter to create quiz. The second way is click button select items. Choose the pre-made lessons and quizzes you want to add to your course. Click add. Now, your lessons and quizzes have just created. You can choose to enable or disable the student from previewing the lesson and quiz by click this eye symbol. Besides, by click the bin symbol, you can delete the lesson or quiz. However, the lessons and quiz you just created haven't had the content yet. You can click the pencil symbol to create or edit the content. A new tab will be opened. At this tab, the first line is the lesson title. The second white big box is for you to add all content of the lesson. Scroll down to Lesson Settings. You can add duration of the lesson. If you left it zero, the lesson will be disabled. You can also choose to disable or enable preview function by ticking this box or not. Your lesson can contain resources from third-party website, videos from YouTube, Vimeo, audio files from SoundCloud, Slide from LinkedIn. For example, I will add a video from YouTube into this lesson. Add embed link from the video you want to the media box. Then, scroll up and click update to save the setting. Your lesson will look like this. Coming back to the course edit page. 
similarity with the quiz. You can also edit or add content by clicking to pencil symbol. A quiz setting page will be opened. Remember to add description of the quiz. Go to questions section. Here you can add questions of the quiz. You can choose the type of questions. True or false. Multi-choice. Single choice. I will go with choose or false type first. You can add the option of answers and choose the correct answer at this column. The right column contains question content. Question explanation and question hint. With multi choice question, you can edit the option of answers. And then choose the correct answers. After adding all the questions, you can edit the order of questions by dragging and dropping. Go to General Settings section. You can choose to show the questions in order by ticking to this box. The Review Questions section is for you. To allow students to review the questions after completing. Following this when reviewing, students can see the correct answer or not. Set duration of the test and minus points when taking wrong question. And remember to set other information, such as passing grade, retake time, times of checking answer, and showing hint. Setting 0 is to disable these options. After finishing all setting, remember to click Update. Now, your quiz and lesson have content. Come back to Course Setting page. After Curriculum is the Course Settings section. In General tab, you can set prerequisites courses that student have to finish before taking this course. You can allow student to purchase without finishing prerequisites by ticking this box. Then, remember to set the duration of courses. Maximum students. Number of students already enrolled to the course. The number of students enrolled will be showed in Courses page like this. You need to remember to set all necessary information, such as number of retake time, set as featured course, or block lessons content when students complete course. That means student cannot learn the course again once they click Complete. You can also sell course from third-party website by adding external link. With this function, the student will be redirected to external website when clicking by the course at the course's detail page. In assessment section, you can choose how the course result is evaluated via lessons, via final quiz, via all quizzes, and so on. Remember to set passing condition. In pricing section, if you don't set the price, the course will be free. Remember to set require logged in student or not. If the course is not free, set the price and sale price, if needed. You can set the author of this course by other tutor. After finishing all setting, click Publish your course. Remember to test all content before officially sell the course.
You can see a course made by Learn Press with theme Eduma here. That's all about how to use LearnPress plugin to create course on your website. Hope you will find it easier to use. Please like and subscribe. If this video is useful for you. And if you want to get more tutorial video from us. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial videos.